The royal family are concerned that Prince Philip's memorial will turn into the Harry and Meghan show if they attend, according to a royal expert. The Queen and family are preparing for a memorial event to honor the Duke of Edinburgh, who died in April of 2021. A service of Thanksgiving is set to be held at Westminster Abbey later this year for the 99-year-old. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are current undecided over whether they will return to the UK. It comes after a huge security row where Prince Harry issued legal papers to the UK government. It is understood that the Sussexes want to pay for the protection out of their own pocket, rather than taxpayers foot the bill. However, security sources hit back saying, Scotland Yard is not available for hire and you can't just hire the services of Scotland Yard as and when you feel like it. As a result, it is unclear whether they intend to attend as a whole family, whether Harry will make the trip alone as he did for Prince Philip's funeral last year, or if they will attend at all. But according to a royal insider, the rest of the royals will breathe a sigh of relief if Meghan and Harry Street clear. Ingrid Seward said, I think if they choose not to come then everyone will breathe a sigh of relief. It is Thanksgiving for Prince Philip and we don't want it turning into the Harry and Meghan show. A new poll of Express readers suggests that more than half of readers believe he should only have private security. Harry would be happy to foot the bill for police protection himself, according to his legal representative, so, as not to impose on the British taxpayer. But they insist this must be police protection, that private security would not be enough for intelligence reasons. For the majority of those who gave their thoughts as to who should pay for the Duke of Sussex's security? The prince should not receive police protection, regardless of who pays for it. 54% of respondents said neither the government nor Harry should pay for the Queen's grandson to receive police protection while in the UK. He should, instead, pay for his own private security, these said. The prince's legal representative insisted that, while Harry and Meghan Markle pay for a private security team in the US, that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed while in the UK. They added, in the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return to his home. Just over two-fifths of respondents to the poll agree that it would be acceptable for Harry to receive police protection while in the UK so long as he paid for it himself. Only 2% of the more than 20,000 responses believed the government, that is, the taxpayer, should fund Harry's police protection. Reader Marco H.R. stressed, as Harry and Meghan decided to relinquish all royal duties and leave the UK to make tens of millions from Netflix and other American commercial activities, they should have to pay for their own security, 100%. It is wholly inappropriate to suggest the British taxpayer should make any payment whatsoever. Here goes added, Harry and Meghan did not just step away from their royal responsibilities and duties, they abandoned them to live a private celebrity lifestyle in exile. In effect they abdicated their jobs and therefore are not entitled to their previous considerable advantages and perks which went with their former jobs. Lucy Lancy shared the view of the majority of respondents, noting, the UK police shouldn't be involved at all regarding Harry and his family's security. He should hire and pay to private bodyguards. Harry's legal representative said that when the royal was last in the UK, to unveil a statue in honor of his mother, his security was compromised due to the absence of police protection.